How's it going everyone? My name is AJ and today I'm going to answer a health question. Your lower back plays an important role keeping you stable and enabling movement to help you get stuff done. But there may be a moment where you wake up one morning or stand up after a long day and feel soreness coming from the lumbosacral region of your back. Getting back pain sucks, but what's most frustrating is that you have absolutely no idea what caused it. In this video, I'm going to explain what probably caused it, how to fix it, and prevent it from coming back from a scientific perspective. So without further delay, let's get started. Your back is broken down into four distinct segments, cervical, thoracic, lumbar, and sacral. Your lumbar and sacral segments, also sometimes grouped together as your lumbosacral region, is more often than not where the pain is coming from. These particular segments possess natural curve, which kind of looks like a narrow S shape when they are put together. In addition to this bone structure, you have a set of deep and superficial back muscles that run up and down this area of the spine, whose job is to keep this natural curve stable and extend and bend when needed. Now the reality is that our spines can spend an awful lot of time not in this alignment. Instead, our lumbosacral regions adopt more of a closed bracket style posture, which is triggered predominantly when we sit or bend over at the back to perform tasks. This might not seem like much, but it puts unnecessary strain on your lower back muscles, tendons, and ligaments, which then causes them to stiffen and in some cases become inflamed. And by the time you actually stand or get out of this position, the damage is already done. Lucky for you, there is a quick and easy way to speed up this recovery process. So what could that be? Let's take a closer look. Before we take a closer look, I want to mention that I offer private online personal training. Take your fitness to the next level with expert coaching, customized programming, and accountability you won't find anywhere else. Visit ajsteven.com to book an appointment or learn more about how I can help you become stronger, more mobile, and confident in the gym or in the comfort of your own home. Assuming that your situation is similar to what I described earlier, I recommend getting the area moving again as soon as possible. I don't suggest doing heavy lifting, but a workout routine involving gentle spinal and hip twists or bends is a safe and effective way to help initiate the healing process, even if you're feeling discomfort. The trick is not to let your pain go past a six on a scale of one to 10. You want to be a little uncomfortable, but not in agony. The following exercises and mobility drills are a good place to start. The full program, including reps and sets can be found in the description below, and can also be done every day, twice. Simply put, the more you are able to regularly keep that area moving, the faster you will recover. If after a few days your pain does not improve or gets worse, consult with a doctor or physiotherapist. To prevent this from returning, you need to regularly practice lumbar spine extension while sitting, lying down, and in some awkward postures. To do this, think about bending your spine the opposite way compared to when you are slouched. When you are sitting, it might help to add a pillow behind your back to help encourage this posture. It may feel a little weird at first, but it will start to feel more natural with time and practice. Feel free to give this a try and let me know how it turned out for you in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it, share it with your friends, subscribe, and turn notifications on. Thank you so much for watching and stay strong.